Water is an example of a chemical that could either be an acid or it could act as a base. And the term for that is amphoteric. So if I have a solution, or rather if I have pure water, one water can act as an acid, one water can act as a base. Here's my arrow that shows the Bronsted-Lowry definition of an acid donating and a base accepting. You make two products, hydronium and hydroxide. Kc for this reaction, it's not called a Ka, it's not called a Kb, it's called a Kw for water. Products divided by reactants again, and notice both reactants are water liquid, so there's nothing in the denominator. Kw is a constant, 10 to the negative 14th, at 25 degrees. So we could use that constant to calculate the pH and pOH of pure water at 25 degrees. We already saw pKa. pH means the same thing. P means take the negative log of whatever comes next. In this case, H stands for H+, plus, which is the same thing as hydronium. You could also have a pOH, the negative log of OH, negative log of hydroxide concentration. And at 25 degrees, and only at 25 degrees, the pH and the pOH are equal to 14 when you sum them together. If you have a solution that's acidic, the pH will be less than 7. And if you have a solution that has a pH higher than 7, that solution is basic. But this definition is only at 25 degrees. A better definition of acidic and basic, acidic means you have more hydronium than hydroxide. And basic means you have more hydroxide than hydronium. These definitions are true at every temperature. So if we want to calculate the pH of pure water, we need to write out the ice chart. Water plus water, doesn't matter which chemical acts as the acid, which one acts as the base in this case. We cross out both of those columns because H2O liquid doesn't appear in K. We start with zero on the product side. It has to increase, so we get X and X. KW is 10 to the negative 14th, and that equals X squared. So to solve for x, all you have to do is take the square root, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. So from there, we could calculate the pH, the negative log of hydronium, according to the ice chart, hydronium at equilibrium is x, and we just found x was 10 to the negative 7th. So if you take the negative log of 10 to the negative 7th, you get a pH of 7.00. And if you do the same thing for pOH, the negative log of hydroxide, hydroxide in this case is also 10 to the negative 7th, so the pOH will also be 7. This is only true if you're at 25 degrees. If you, the temperature changes away from 25 degrees, then what will change in this problem is not the ice chart, but rather the Kw. Kw changes when the temperature changes.